Cynthia Sue Larson with RealityShifters.com, and today I'm talking about a glitch in the Matrix. In the movie The Matrix, there was a scene where one of the characters, Neo, was commenting to Trinity that he just had a deja vu, is what he called it, and he'd seen a black cat twice. When Trinity questioned him about it, um, then she said, that's usually... Deja vu is usually a glitch in the matrix. That usually happens before or during a time when there's been a change in the matrix. The reason I'm mentioning this experience is because that glitch in the matrix is becoming a phrase that a lot of people are using when they talk about much more than just seeing something repeating, which um, isn't so much a deja vu, actually. When you see a black cat going through twice, that's not technically a deja vu. That's actually what I would call a Groundhog Day effect, where something is actually repeating, like you're caught in a circle or a cycle of reality where things are repeating in a sequence. And I've had that happen a couple of times. Uh, once I was in Albuquerque, New Mexico, <coughs> in the lobby of a hotel room, and I noticed a woman come into the lobby, and she was wearing a certain set of clothing, a very nice dress. We were there for a conference, and so I was speaking with a couple of other people, and this woman walked right past us. Then just, you know, count for a couple of beats, and then the door opens. That, another woman who looks exactly like the first one, wearing exactly the same clothes, and exactly the same mannerisms, um, everything, body movement, emotional composition of the face, every single detail the same, starts walking past us again. So I stop and question her and ask if she'd just come through a bit earlier. And she didn't know what we were talking about. A couple of us had definitely observed this. And that's what I would call not so much a deja vu as, like I said, Groundhog Day effect. And also, I've seen the same situation occur on another occasion when I was at a friend's house and someone was giving a business card to the hostess. The entire scene played out almost exactly the same just a couple of moments later. And... The reason I think these things are happening, if you're wondering what is going on, if that's not deja vu, and technically it's not deja vu, it's more what I would definitely call a glitch in the matrix, sure. It's referring to a situation where you can think of it in terms of quantum physics. I think that's the easiest way to visualize the entire situation. Think in terms of all of what we know from quantum physics to be true, in which you can have particles that blip in and out of existence, literally. You can have entanglement of quantum particles. You've got particles that aren't even particles all the time. They go into an energy state. And then we've got physicists who come up with a whole bunch of different theories as to what's going on, including possibility of many worlds. That's Hugh Everett III's suggestion, that we've got parallel universes going on. Another possibility would be one that I very much enjoy called transactional interpretation. And that's John Kramer's, um, physicist John Kramer at the University of Seattle, Washington. And that theory has to do with a handshake between uh, past and present point in space-time, shaking hands and corroborating and coming together. Uh, regardless which of these theories, and there are a couple, several others as well, um, doesn't really matter which of the quantum theories happens to be correct. We don't really know. Maybe several of them combined. But what we do know for sure is that we are noticing macroscopic effects of quantum mechanics on an everyday um, viewable level of reality. And I write about a lot of these in my book, Reality Shifts When Consciousness Changes the Physical World, including this idea of the Groundhog Day effect. And things appear, disappear, transform, and transport. You may have noticed things like a sock going missing in the laundry, and you don't know what happened because you can't find it anywhere. You might put your keys down in one place and come back and find that they're gone, or they've moved to some other location. These are glitches in the matrix, and I'd like you just to consider what is happening around you that you may have not noticed and not really fully paid attention to because it just seemed too weird, um, but when you start thinking about it a little bit more, you really may have experienced what we're calling a glitch in the matrix, a reality shift, it's also known by the names mind-matter interaction, <clears throat> quantum jumping, and these are all <coughs> synonymous names for the same kind of thing. 
So give that some thought. And this is Cynthia Sue Larson with Reality Shifters. <coughs> A little bit of spring fever here. Until next time, keep asking how good can it get. And hope you'll let me know if you've noticed any glitches in the matrix. Thanks so much.